Hi everyone, this is Anne and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this is going to be number 18 from my beautiful creatures list. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is actually um, the Inktober stuff that I started. I had created a list for Inktober called Beautiful Creatures and now I'm just going to continue the Beautiful Creatures list and just mark Inktober as a failure and <laughs> move on. So I'm going to take my time with the beautiful creatures list and try to do a bit of a nicer job. I still have a few sketches from before this decision though and this is one of them. So for this drawing the theme was fangs and for fangs I of course will think of vampires. They are actually my second favorite thing to draw. I just love vampires. I don't know why. My first favorite thing is witches and my second favorite thing is vampires and it always has been. Um, so they're just so much fun to draw. But I think that I put too much pressure on myself because I remember feeling like really frustrated when I was trying to sketch out something for this one. I just wasn't sure how to draw what I imagined drawing. I just wanted something really grand and amazing because it's one of my favorite things to draw. I just wanted to go all out and it just didn't quite work out. And you can see that here because there's <laughs> version one and version two. And I've already said before, I did not want to redo these Inktober things, but I gave in with this one. I just, I just really wanted it to look nice. I thought the sketch was really, really nice. And I thought this drawing would go over super well, but in the end, I just wasn't happy with it. Like overall, I'm not really happy with this drawing. And it just came down to, I think, the image that I had in my mind when I created this was not clear enough. I just wanted something kind of sketchy, kind of um, underdone, kind of colorful, something that I see online that from some of the artists that I follow, that kind of style, but I, I don't really know how to go about that myself. And I wasn't fully sure of exactly what I wanted. And when I did the first version, I just kind of felt reckless and I just started throwing paint on the paper to see what would happen. And what happened was I hated it. <laughs> I was just thinking that the profile I could have done better, the coloring I could have done better. So I started over. And at the end of version two, I feel the same way. I could have done better with the profile. I really need to practice profiles this year. I used to do it all the time when I was younger. And I just lost it. Um, and I really could have done the coloring better. Um, with this one, I think I got halfway through and I kind of had to give up on what the image in my head looked like. And I just had to try to make it look interesting on its own. Um, I'm not sure if the things that I did are exactly the way I want it to have gone. But I think it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. It's just that... I'm not super happy with the overall drawing because it just didn't meet my original expectations. But yeah, hopefully somebody out there likes it. And I think if I just look at it itself and don't know about all that, I think it's still pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of fitting that this is the illustration that I'm showing you guys this week because I've just had a week very similar to the one I had when I started this one. Um, I just wanted to start 2017 by like going hard on everything and just doing my best and going to improve slowly over the new year and I wanted to do a brand new illustration for you guys and talk about like my 2016 in the voiceover and just have something really cool to start out the year with like a bang. But when I went to start sketching, that all went out the, the window. It was like, my sketches are terrible and I was over criticizing myself. I just want everything to look perfect. And I was thinking like, oh, these poses are so boring. I should do something like more dynamic. And oh, it was a bad few days. Um, but luckily I did find a way out because I just sat down on the couch with my sketch pad and my iPad with Pinterest open and I just started pinning things like crazy. Um, on Pinterest, I like to pin things like shoes and jewelry and fashion, those kind of things that really inspire me and then some, some artwork as well. But, um, I really found that to be really helpful. I just... I saw this one fashion pose like multiple times so I decided to copy that and made it my own thing and then I did another drawing that was based off of um, another fashion pose and I just I really loved it so I feel like I've gotten over that hump but it's kind of funny that this illustration was the next one on the list when I was feeling the same exact way 
quite some time later so yeah um but still i really hope you guys like this video and if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know i'd really appreciate it because i've been feeling a little low this week but um it's turning around so yeah and i hope that your 2017 is going good so far let me know if you guys have been having a rough week or what and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post art related videos every week. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.